In this video, we want to review the Vision Operations Ledger. A Ledger in Oracle GL combines a functional currency, accounting calendar, the chart of accounts, and the accounting method. For example, uh, the standard accrual accounting method. In our Vision demonstration environment, we have a company called Vision Operations that enters journals for multiple divisions each of which produces a balance sheet in the Vision Operations Ledger. Journal entries are entered or converted to US dollars, which is the functional currency, and the chart of accounts has five segments, which includes the company segment, department, account, sub-account, and product. And this is defined in the Operations Accounting Key Flexible Structure. So let's go in to find this vision operations ledger. So we're now in the responsibility called general ledger vision operations. And we want to navigate to the accounting setup manager window. And to do that, we go to setup financials, accounting setup manager, and we want to select accounting setups. So this is the accounting setups window. We're going to search for the ledger called vision operations. So I'm just going to type in vision opera operations and click on go. And that's my vision operations USA, which is the primary ledger. And I'm going to click on the pencil icon which says the update accounting options. So one thing to note here is that for our Vision Operations USA, it has a number of legal entities. You can see that each legal entity has a legal entity identifier in a country and has this own separate segment, uh, sorry, balance and segment value that is associated with, with it. And then we have the primary ledger for vision operations and we've also got the secondary ledgers down at the bottom of the primary ledgers. So let's have a look at the ledger options. So I'm going to click on this pencil icon that says update and we want to review very quickly the ledger definitions. So in this window you discover that this is the name of the ledger, that's the short name and the description which is Vision Operations USA. Notice that you have a currency and this you've also got the chat of accounts which is the Operations Accounting Flex. And this uses the Operations Accounting Flex Field Accounting Key Flex Field Structure. And it uses the Accounting Calendar of Accounting. And the period type is month and the first ever open period is December and the number of future enterable periods is two. And if you go further down, we'll see that the subledger accounting method is the standard accruals. So you have the currency, the chart of accounts, the calendar, and then the subledger accounting method, which is a standard accrual. This is actually one of the seeded subledger accounting method and that's why you have the method owner as Oracle. Other things to note here is that it's also got the journal entry language of American English and the entered currency balancing account is also specified as well. This is not mandatory because it hasn't got an asterisk next to it but it's good practice to have a entered currency balancing account. So I'm going to click on next for us to have another quick look. And you've also got other things that I didn't mention here. For one is to use the cash basis accounting, which is mainly used by payables and balance sub ledger entries by ledger currency as well. So this is not, uh, it's not mandatory. So I'm going to click on next. We're just doing a quick review of the ledger options. 
So next we have the return earnings. Again, this is defined at the ledger level for year end processing. And you've also got the option of a net closing balance flag, which allows you to post to a net closing account. Um, so when you open the first period of a new year, revenue and expenses will close out and the net will be posted to the retained earnings account. And there is a retained earnings, retained earnings account for each value of the balancing segment. You've also got your suspense account. If you notice that that's the same account as the balancing of the journals that we have here, the currency entry balancing account. We've used the same one, it's more of a suspense account. And then you've got other options like tracking, rounding differences um, that can go into another suspense account. And you've got enable intra company balances and journal approvals, journal tax entry, and then you have your default journal reversal criteria set. You've got also the currency translation options, the method, the period end rate type and average rate, and also the cumulative translation adjustment account. And other things that you have, you can also have the enable journal reconciliation, which allows you to select journal lines that must reconcile with each other and balance to zero. Budgetary control, if you want to enable budgetary control, then you must enter a reserve for encumbrance if the budgetary control is enabled. And then you can also enable require budget journals as well. And then you have a quick review of the summary of what you've selected and finish. So that's basically your ledger structure. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.